Sonic CD, redrawn and brought forward in time into 2023. It's about time. Welcome to Maniafied, a series where I take an older Sonic game, I spruce it up in the same way that Mania would, and today my sights are set on Sonic CD. I know, <laughs> I know. Sonic CD is such a unique game. It's got its own strong identity with wild level design, iconic music, and I would go so far as to say, in the context of the classic games, it has its very own art style. But you know what? That art style is looking a tiny bit dated now, almost 30 years later. So I'm gonna do something about that. Now, I promised this a while ago, and ever since then I've been haunted by some malevolent force of time. Thing is, it hides, so let's go find it, because. I don't want it to find me. Force of time, huh? Whoa. Oh, yeah, it's here. It's a time warp plate. Hey. Whoa. Where am I? Oh, I'm in an old Maniafied video. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Yeah. So it's about time we get to it. Let's first take a look at the title screen from the original game. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh, wait, that's not right. It's all squished. Oh yeah, that's what the sprites look like in the original game. When the game displays them, it stretches the pixels. If we do that, it looks pretty rough. Well luckily, this was fixed in the remake with the art actually being scaled up. Ah, <sighs> that's better. This right here is what we'll use as our base. So, let's watch it in action. Oh yeah, definitely one of the coolest title screens in my opinion. I'll be totally refreshing this title screen, much like I did before, and much like Mania did with the classic stages. And further on, maybe I'll have a little surprise for you. Let's get started, I'm excited for this one. So naturally, I'm gonna start with Sonic himself. Now if it wasn't obvious, Sonic here is a 3D model, who's been converted into pixel art, and then stretched, and he was looking a little bit rough. So firstly what I'm doing is removing all the dithering, because Mania didn't really include dithering in its art. And I'm gonna continue to make subtle modifications to the shading, so it looks less like a 3D model, and more like a 2D piece of artwork. Now it's here I should probably say I'm going to be a bit looser with the term maniafied because if I go too far in the mania direction these games are going to lose their own charm and identity. So from this point I'm just going to kind of do what feels right for each game going forward but I'm not necessarily going to force myself to use the same lighting or exact same shading style as mania on the character. It's just not necessary. So even though this Sonic is a model, personally I think it's a little bit off model. So I'm gonna make a bunch of modifications, change the shape of things, so that Sonic just looks right. He has the correct silhouette, he has the correct form. Like his ears were way too big in my opinion. And I'm not the first one to say it, Sonic spikes are a little bit weird in 3D, so I'm gonna make those a little bit more like they are in 2D. As you can see, I'm changing the belly shading a lot. The belly in the original one looked a little strange, so I had to make sure I gave that attention. And now finally I'm going to be adding extra shades. This is one of the main things that Mania did, is add extra shades to the original artwork. Something I've noticed doing these is a lot of the title screen art will give Sonic kind of thick, stubby arms. So I'm always having to thin them down. Uh, it's weird. It's, it's consistent. And with that we're actually done with Sonic and we're going to move right on to the background and the emblem. So this gold ring with wings, whatever it is, I don't have to add any shades to this thing. This thing's chock full of shades. But the thing is, it's just messy. There's like stray pixels everywhere. Again, it's a 3D render that's been pixelated and then stretched. And, uh, you know, we, we need to fix it. It's hard to notice close up, but there's actually stars on this thing. They're easy to see when, when you're looking at the whole thing in one go, but I wanted to make those more obvious and cleaner. I don't know what this bottom thing is, I assume there's more stars here, but it's really hard to tell. So I'm just going to kind of leave it as it is. It's, it actually gets covered up by the ribbon, so, you know, whatever. Now the worst part of this emblem is the wings. By worst, I mean like, just the roughest, I'd say. So I had to do a lot of cleaning up here. Like, there were shades that weren't being used, a lot of, like, banding. 
I really do like how this thing looks though, it looks really cool. And now we're moving on to the ribbon. I'm pretty much directly copying the Mania shading for this thing. I'm actually modifying the Mania star to fit the Sonic CD star. And I'm sorry guys, but I don't like how the text looks on the ribbon, okay? The, the title text looks weird. So I'm going to completely recreate the title text using the Sonic 1 title text. And for the shading, I'm basically going to replicate exactly what I did in the Sonic 1 title screen in the first Maniafied video. You know, for consistency. So you can see I have the Sonic 1 banner up there that I did uh, as a reference. Crap. Uh... Oh no, this isn't good. I'm stupid! I didn't save once! Oh gosh. I can't do anything. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Take me back to the intro. <coughs> 2023. It's about time. Whoa! What on earth? Okay, I need to tell you one thing. When you draw this art, keep saving it. Idiot. Uh, okay. <laughs> Would have done that anyway. Welcome to Maniafied, a series where I take an opportunity. Oh. oh, it's back. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. Let's continue. All right, we're going to move on to the background now, but I want to ask you a question, okay? Look at this. Okay. This is this is a little planet. Um what is this? What what am I looking at? This is rough. This is disgusting. You know what it actually is? It's this shot from the intro animation, just completely destroyed and turned into whatever this is. I, I, I don't know why it's stretched into an oval. I don't know what's going on, but you know what it means? It means we can completely recreate this thing from scratch using the intro animation. So for the first time, we're in Photoshop and I have that shot from the intro animation right here and I'm removing the clouds. Just a bit of content aware fill magic. And they're gone. I'm just going to clean it up and then I'm going to scale it down to the pixel size and then apply some filters to it to set it to the right colors and to limit it to the amount of colors that we want. And then I just have to crop the thing out and that's it. It's just cleanup time. I don't know if this was like absolutely common knowledge, but the fact that I found out that that was part of the intro animation directly put into the game in pixel art form, that's wild to me. But I was really pleased to find out so that I could do this recreation more faithfully. And with that done, we're on to the mountain, okay? We're just gonna add more shades to this thing. It already looks pretty good. I'm not gonna do anything crazy to it. Got the other mountains on the right. And then we're just gonna add some detail to these uh, plants, I guess. I don't know what these are, but they're cool. Now we're gonna dress up the water. We're gonna add some reflections. And then, just like with Mania, we're going to add some extra detail to the sky. We're going to add a little gradient here. And that's that. I'm done. Let's take a look. Uh, get pranked. <laughs> We've only just started. Sonic Mania didn't just redraw old game art. It reanimated old game art too, with extra frames and an added level of fluidity. This series is called Maniafied. Let's really maniafy this title screen by recreating the entire animation. Oh yeah, that's right. So this animation is mainly just Sonic turning around and wagging his finger, I suppose. But we're going to really emphasize his motion as he turns. Okay, I'm, I'm not just going to add new frames to what was there. I'm going to completely basically redo this. Now, as you can see, I'm, I am modifying the original animation, but it, <laughs> it's going to be almost unrecognizable when I'm done. But uh, here you can see on display my uh, technique. It's just do it messy until it looks good, right? So what I'm doing is I'm kind of like duplicating all the frames, modifying the new ones, and I'm actually adding a couple brand new frames at the very end just to squash and stretch his head as he kind of lands in his position. And remember all that shading I had to do to Sonic before? Yeah, I gotta do that to all these frames now to make it all consistent. <laughs> You know what, I don't think I've actually done a frame-by-frame -frame animation on this channel yet. That's pretty wild. I need to do more of that. So yeah, this will be a first of many. And now I'm going to add his arm. Normally it just kind of statically moves with him, but this time I want to have him actually pull his arm out from his side and have it settle into position nicely. I'm adding a bit of head rotation at the start here. It's going to start bending down, then it's going to go up and then back down again. Oh, 
A lot of work is going in here to blend the frames together, make sure he looks like he's moving in 3D. You know, his spikes change size and shape as his head turns. Gotta make sure that all looks right. And there's a lot of lighting changes as that happens too, it's a, it's a lot of work. Finally, we're adding extra shades. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there, guys. Gotta clean up those rough arms. They were pretty rough before. Might be hard to tell, I'm adding a bunch of like finger wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle, I don't know what to call it. Finally, adding all those extra shades to the arms. And now we're moving on to the finger wag. I just said that again. <laughs> when he waves his hand, we're doing that. I never noticed before that Sonic raises his eyebrows when he does this, but he does. And guys, now we truly are done. Okay, I'm, I'm so excited to show you this. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's watch the original title screen just to kind of orient ourselves. And now let's watch the new maniafied title screen. Oh yeah, guys. <laughs> this is my favorite Mania fight yet. This, it doesn't get much better than this. The brand new Sonic, the new animation, the background, the emblem, it all comes together. This really feels like it's achieving the name of this series. Let me know what you think about this. Um, I couldn't be happier, honestly. Okay, we are done. Now I just need to make sure I get rid of that time warp plate. Look, I'm done, I did it. Whoa, wait. Whoa, whoa, what you do? Oh, uh, okay. I'm in my first art video. Uh, hello?